What's up guys, Team Solomon Circus here. We got fifth place today at the regionals. Uh, we played Unchained today. Um, before I dive in, shout outs. I'm, I'm not really good on the behind, but not behind the camera here. Um, so shout outs to you know the team, shout out to all the boys that drove up. Uh, five of us, unfortunately, we had to play each other, so not very great. Um, but we're gonna, we played Unchained today. I ended up phone 5 1, got a little bit sniped from the top four. That's okay though. Um, and yeah, let's just dive in. So to start off, we are playing the three Shavara. You know, this is very standard. Three of the Arua, very standard. Um, reds pop from hand. This hurt opening is absolutely crazy. Adding it back with the Yama is very nice. We played one, one. This guy was a good boy today. I've been having a lot of troubles, you know, topping locals or topping regionals um, because this card's been in my hand. And today he decided to stay out of my hand all day. So I'm really grateful for that. Disaster Dog, I actually still love this card. I know people aren't playing it. It really helps to, uh, to end up like kind of destroying the board of a bunch of other decks. So it's just nice to have, as well as like in the mirror match, it's absolutely crazy if they're not prepared for it. You just summon it out and just suck. Um, summon blow up stuff, great. I played against um, Banker Soul round one, uh, and they ended up like doing something to destroy one of my cards. Or it was Dark World, not Banker Soul, my bad. And they used a Mothman, and then I discarded this, set a trap, had this, and then had this in hand. Um, summon this, blew up stuff, it was crazy playing turn zero. Um, playing the one of these, you have to really play it. And yeah, that's it for the really unchained part of the deck. Very standard, other than the Disaster Dog. Then we have the three. Only one card combo in the deck, so you have to really play it. Um, opening this really sucked. I played against an unchained mirror, and we both drew these and then two of this. That game absolutely sucked. Shout out to Poop. Um, it, was, it was horrible. It was still fun regardless. I, I enjoy playing those kind of scuffed games. Then I played the Vice Gang. Um, this is just for the DDD package. You saw it out going second. Not much to say. Um, it comes up. It, it's, it's, you have to play it, really. For the hand traps, I'm on hand traps. This is like what really makes the deck different. Um, I'm playing the three and then three platinum mirrors. We love these. Uh, crazy card. It was either this or Droll. Um, I just felt that it was absolutely necessary. As well as, I'll just put the Imperms in now. I wanted those 12 hand traps to really, you know, stop a bunch of decks. I wanted to be able to open two of them. And there was lots of rescue ace around. So, you know, being able to see, like, let's say, one of these or two of these, um, or even time I was, like, having, like, multiple um, hand traps. A lot of time I was seeing, like, Ash, Imperm, Nib, um, or whatever. And it, like, felt really good to, like, be able to see these. And if you opened up, like, Tour Guide, it just absolutely cracked. Um, rather than playing with the talents and stuff like that, because I found that a lot of the time, it's only as good as like your in-engine cards. And if you already use reds, um, then you're really just drawing to nothing. And then we are on the three Abomination Prisons. This card searches um, all your stuff. And it's also your secondary traps. So, you know, you have to play it. I'm not playing the Wailing. I don't think it's that good. Um, I'm on the Dark Contracts, obviously, and I'm on the Prosperities. This is actually more mandatory than the Abomination Prisons, I feel like. like you have to be playing this to be able to search. And uh, this card is crazy. For the rest of the main deck, you know, we are on the triple and the double. Not much to say, you don't need to play six. Now for the extra deck, three Yamas. This could be absolutely two, I'm just bad, so I played three. Two Rage, standard, um, Anguish. You don't need another one. Uh, I didn't really banish this. This card's like, you have to play two. It's like you got to play two of this. I'm playing a third. I haven't really decided what I want to swap it yet, so I'm just gonna pretend that doesn't exist. And then one abomination, you know, you go into this, you start popping the stuff. If they don't, if Rescue Ace sets up a bunch of stuff and they don't really able to do it, or you set up like an anti spell, summoning this and like stopping and popping their stuff just feels absolutely crazy. And that's it for like the unchained stuff. We got SP Little Knight. This card is the MVP of the deck. It's what makes this deck crazy. Um, so Rage hopping into this just feels absolutely disgusting. I love this card. Muckracker. Helps you go into your griffin and your uh, unicorn. People have cut this. I think it's wrong. You have to play SB and unicorn. Because um, sometimes you want to be able to spin it back. And then for the XYZs. Uh, I could play two of these. I just found that I want to cut it for this. At the start, I wasn't a really big fan of this. Um, shout out to Josh for, uh, for making me play this. After a long conversation of him telling me I'm wrong. Um, I decided to throw this in, and it really came up a lot. 
Um, yeah, like this crit's absolutely insane. Just bouncing back monsters and you know stopping the Medadium board is crazy as well. It's also insane versus tier, uh, which is like your deck struggles a lot about. So bouncing back stuff is just nice. Now for the side deck, this is obviously you know for every event it's different. Um, I'm playing three Droll. If it's not in your main, it's in your side. Don't ask why this is here. I needed an extra card. Huge fan of this. If you guys know the channel, you guys will know um, that I constantly play this. So you have to play these. You have to play these standard. I love the one Harpies and stuff. I was horrified of Runic. I was horrified of uh, Flu and Rescue Ace. So I wanted to have like some outs for it. And this is really what I chose. This is like my 15th card in my extra deck. And then we are playing the three shifters. So I'm not ended up playing um, any Bestials, any DD Crows, any stuff like that because I wanted the blow card for it. Um, I didn't see this at all other than versus JT and he was my only loss today. So I guess you probably don't need it. Um, I was always drawing into it like my sixth card after I hit a um, like after I imperm or something like that. So I'd absolutely cut this for something better. Um, probably with another card like this. You do not need to play one talent. I did draw it in the finals and I ended up helping me. But other than that, a pretty solid list. And uh, thanks for watching.